Welcome back, ladies and gents. Next on love here, playing an adventure map, which, uh, if you can tell by this place, or by looking down here at the little holes in the mountains, uh, it's supposed to be an adventure map of the Hobbit. So obviously, the name is the Hobbit Adventure. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Uh, first thing is, I am using the Doku Craft texture pack with some shaders. Um, it's just called the Waving Plant Shaders, so that's all you see. It's just trees moving around. You see the grass and flowers move around too. Not from this far away though, because it's having issues loading. And yeah, uh, I'm using, uh, I'm not on the latest version of Minecraft. I'm on 1.72 because there isn't any uh, additional, uh oh, I right have spider. Um, there isn't an additional, like for, th for the mods I use, there isn't a, uh, proper forge for them all. So let's just start into it here. Book and quill. What is it? All right. Page one of three. It is early morning in the Shire, and you've just stepped out from your little hole in the ground. You're smoking a bit of pipe weed. It's not wheat. It's actually supposed to be pipe weed. Best Toby of all of the North or South Farling, something like that. <laughs> and just standing and listening to the birds, someone appears in the f in front of you. You ask the person who he is, and he replies, "My name is Gandalf, and I have come to ask you if you would like to go on an adventure." You tell him that you are not interested, but he says that it is relevant. He just slices out a ruin in your door. Yeah, but you don't see that at the beginning. And walks away. You decide to forget about what happened and walk back into your house. Or into your kit. Oh my god, I'm having a problem. <laughs> uh, kitchen in the house. Walk to your kitchen. Okay, let's throw that back. Walk to my kitchen. Oh, they said walk, not run. Okay, where's the kitchen? Um, is this the kitchen? No, this is a bedroom. Is there any hidden stuff in here? I like I like my bed. Thanks. Nothing in there. Pretty cool looking place. So, oh, I'm friggin' freezing. What the hell is going on? I'm not here a slime. Is there supposed to be mobs in this? How about... Oh, I I don't want to. Here. How about we just turn the sounds down? Uh, hostile mobs, bring it down to like seven. Players, doesn't, well, it doesn't matter, I guess. Um, friendly creatures up a bit. Ambient environment. Keep music off. Jukebox. Whoa, still pretty loud. Alright. Nothing in that. Oh, what was that? Oh. Uh oh. Just made it night. Oh no. There's nothing cooking, but the furnaces is on. That's not safe. Or. Yeah. Um. Looking quill. A few days have passed, and you've forgotten everything that had happened a couple days ago, but suddenly someone knocks on your door. Walk back to your door. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're not supposed to be in the Shire, Shelob. Uh oh. Don't kill me. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. I got some string. Maybe it's supposed to be unpeaceful because this seems like it would be kind of weird, but I didn't. There wasn't any rules, really. Holy crap. Look at all these notes. Go back to my door. Okay, I'm at my door. What's this? I went back to my door. Oh, note three. There we go. Excuse me, I don't need it. Note three. 
You open the door and guess who's standing there? A dwarf. Dwalin at your service, the dwarf says, and walks inside the house. You don't understand what is going on, and you answer him. Bilbo Baggins at your service. Mm. Would you like a cup of tea? I just made... Yes, certainly, Dwalin says. Shortly after, you hear someone knocking on the door again. You open the door again, and this time, an old dwarf stands in the doorway. Balin. At your service. Bilbo Baggins, at your service. You reply, very confused by what is currently going on. More and more dwarves keep coming. Till there are nine dwarves. Fili, Kili, Oin, Dloin, Nori, Ori. Somebody knocks on the door, and four dwarves stumble inside the door, with Gandalf standing behind them. Biffer, Buffer, Bumfer, or Bumber, at your service, and this fourth, fourth dwarf didn't say anything. However, you were told that his name was Thorn or Oakenshield. He doesn't show up with them, and he was the leader. Walk back to the kitchen. Holy. Back to the kitchen. Now what? That sets it to the night again. Oh, there's another chest with notes. Now you step into your kitchen and the dwarves have already started eating all your food. You ask Thorn why they are here. And he tells you that they are on the way back to their homes. And the Lonely Mountain to claim their homes back from the evil dragon called Smog. He wasn't that evil, really. He was just really misunderstood until he friggin' burns Dale down. <laughs> That's not nice. Uh, he lives in the mountain. His bed is made of gold, diamonds, pure metals, mithril... And even more than you could ever dream of. You feel unsecure as you as to whether you should go or not. Since hobbits never do anything unexpected, you feel tired and you go to bed. You find find your bed in the house. Okay, that's not that hard. Well. Oh. Oh, I found my bed, and I'm sleeping. I'm actually tired right now. I haven't even been up that long. Okay, so now it's daytime. And there's a damn slime still on top of my friggin' place. Um, I guess I have to just search around, check out different chests. What's in here? Pretty cool looking bookshelf. Oh no! Enderman! I don't know what the hell that is. Probably just a painting. Uh, more notes. I'm not on note 6 yet. I'm on note... I guess that wasn't really... Was that supposed to be my bedroom? I don't think that was supposed to be my bedroom. That's the pantry. Nothing in that. Because there's bedrooms back here too. Oh, here's another bedroom with the... Oh, look at that. Note number five. It is morning in the Shire, and as always, you are hungry. Walk to your food chamber. I just did that. Walk to my food chamber. Yeah, I slept in the wrong bed. Oh, well. Oh. Potion of swiftness. Sweet. Wait, What? Where are the dwarves? Gandalf is the only one left, and he tells you that they will meet you at the Green Dragon. But you'll have to be swift. Here's this... Here, this potion will make you run faster. Gandalf gives you a drink. Run to the Green Dragon. Oh, man. Which only gives me two minutes. Come on, where's the Green Dragon? Woohoo! That's probably not it, right? Oh, that's a diamond, though. Freak. Uh, this is not the green dragon. 
Where's the green dragon? Oh crap. Are you friggin' nuts? Come on. That's not it. She's still following me. She's so friggin' fast. Those damn witches. Where's the green dragon? No, 10. I'm not even up to 10 yet. Oh, come on. I'm cheating in a friggin' sword. This is dumb. Give me a sword. Okay, come here. You witchy witchy witch. Ho ho, check that. Tucker out. Okay, well, the green dragon wasn't. I, didn't, I don't remember it being in the. Like, Hobbiton. It's impossible. Where do I find these other chests? Because, like, friggin' that's mental. Where's the green dragon? Where's the green dragon? Oh, wait, is this the green dragon? No, number eight. I need number seven, though. Where am I? I came from up there? Is that where I came from? Yeah. Well, the potion friggin' ran out. Great. I'm gonna steal another potion. Where is it? Potion of swiftness. Three minutes. Oh, don't mean... I didn't need that many. I hate it when it does that. Alright. Where's the green dragon? This place is pretty cool. I think it needs a little bit more uh, street signs and stuff though. Cause like, I don't, maybe it's over this way. Is this the green? No, this is a friggin' number nine. Where's number seven? Oh, that must be the green dragon. It looks 